Yeah, so I was teaching, you know, my son how to ride the bike. And, you know, most people were saying, oh, you know, use a balanced bike and uh, kind of all these different shortcuts. And, and while I appreciate, you know, people trying to help, you know, I'm a big believer in hardship. And a lot of reasons our kids cannot deal with life's issues is because we created a lifestyle now where we have to make everything easy for our child. And I decided not to. I'm like, no, he's going to learn hardship. He should learn to fall. Um, I did put him on elbow pads, but I didn't put no knee pads on. Scrape yourself. I told him before he started, you may bleed, you may scratch yourself or whatever. But my biggest thing is him learning hardship. And sometimes it ain't real until you get hurt. Even when we was playing, you know, when we were boxing, um, doing boxing lessons, it, it wasn't real to me until I got hit in the nose. When I got hit in the face, it was real. Like, oh, snap, I just got hit in the nose, you know. So for him, you know, even though he's learned how to ride the bike now without having to fall because he listened, if he would have failed, regardless, he would have had to experience the pain. But he's going to learn how to deal with hardship. I'm not creating shortcuts you know for my son his whole life i'm not creating the easy way out for my son because life is not going to do that he's going to get into real life and think somebody's there going to help him all the time and nobody's there going to help you you know you're going to have to learn to help yourself you know going through life and, and and living with different uh issues living with different people learning to deal with your family hardship is going to come and you have to learn how to deal with that and i am not going to be able to prep my son for that by giving him shortcuts for everything even if something is as simple as riding a bike, no shortcuts, you're gonna learn the hard way.